even though we haven't gone past our last freeze by date everything's decided to bloom so I guess that means no matter how far behind I am it's time for a greenhouse update that's this time on It's the first week of April, and I'm still really, really far behind. As you can see, I need to clean all this off and weed some of the stuff between the rocks. Got to get dirt to put into this and start getting it ready to, to go. I've made some soil that I've been using. Let's see what's in the greenhouse. In an effort to try to uh, grow a little bit more this year. I've uh, expanded out into the middle of the of the greenhouse. As you can tell it's a lot messier than last year where last year was its first time to really get used. The, uh, this year is not so clean. So let's see what we're doing. First off I'm going to try some carrots this year. I'm hoping to get a bunch of the purple ones but I bet I don't. Big container. Uh, it should be enough to grow me some some decent carrots. This, then again, as usual, this is going to be tomato row. The first one's the lemon boy that I always try to grow every year. And then uh, early girl that should give us um, some tomatoes early on. That's it, the Roma tomatoes. They've just come out selling those. Here, as you can tell, I'm not quite sure putting everything in. So I'll put everything where it's going to go. Here is going to be, what is going to be, this is going to be a yellow pear. These two right here, this one and this one are going to be um, cherry and pear tomatoes. So smaller ones for, for, for uh, salads and such. Got the swamp cooler working early this year and it seems to be doing a good job. It's 50 to 50% 50 humidity here and 75.2 degrees. Now it's probably a little cooler outside, but the sun is shining on here, so. But that 50% humidity is very, very nice for in here. I'm growing everything in bigger containers this year. I had smaller ones I tried growing in last year, and they uh, were quickly outgrown. I had one laying in here somewhere, but I, oh, there it is. I'll show it to you now. Little smaller containers like that one down there, everything outgrew those really, really quickly, so I'm not using them this year. So this is gonna be the smallest container I'm in. This is uh, cinnamon basil. These two will eventually be sweet mint and German thyme. But they're, they're right there, We're waiting to go into here. Here is a, a red bell pepper, and here's just a green bell pepper. And below it, as you said, I, I realized last year I wasn't using all the available space. Since things were stacked up here, no light got through to the bottom, so I bought some cinder blocks and put board across them so I can have more stuff. So here I've got one, two, three strawberries. These two right here are the All Star, and this kind right here is the Dark Beauty. This one is my big surprise so far. It's a uh, basil plant, and it's growing like gangbusters in here. The other big surprise is the Roman lettuce isn't growing in here very well. It's always limped over and stuff, even though it's cooler in here than outside. My biggest new addition this year, besides deciding to do carrots, is my outside enclosure. I'll show you what I did to that here in a minute. For those few of you that watched my videos from last year, I remember that the outside enclosure I uh, Two years ago, that's where I first started growing, and I had a battle with the cats. All the neighborhood cats and the strays that my mom feeds, they uh, would get in there and go to the bathroom. So I bought this four by four raised off the ground, like four feet, raised bed that I stuck over there thinking that would be, would keep the cats at bay, but turns out the cats want to go to the bathroom on the highest thing. So I ended up having to put something over the top of it. So I got another cattle panel, cattle panels are stuff like this 
because I used, uh, I got the idea from Texas Prepper 2. He made a greenhouse out of a couple of cattle panels. So I went and got a cattle panel for $19 from uh, Tractor Supply. Came and lopped it over the top of it and used uh, the uh, shin shade I had originally on here to cover it up. And all the stuff started growing really good in there. But uh, it looked bad and I didn't like the way, I didn't like the way it looked. It was unprofessional looking, which isn't anything new for me, but I mean, it just didn't look good. And uh, it was kind of hard to get around to all the, uh, to all the corners and stuff because the box was the same size. So uh, over the winter, that box, and well, the winter kind of made it shrink. And uh, well, I'll just show you what happened to it. Here's my new enclosure. Once again, this was uh, inspired by Texas Prepper 2, framing it out and such. As I've said, I already have a greenhouse, so I didn't need another one. I just needed something that would protect the plants inside from the cats and the birds. So I needed it, and I also needed it to block most of the, most of the sun, because West Texas sun is just too hot. But I also wanted the wind and the breeze to be able to get through, so you'll notice I've got big, wide open gauge there at the bottom, and then this 50% shade around all the top and a door which keeps the cats out wonderfully. Let's uh, step inside. I'm trying to grow in ground again just to see if I can. Only a few things. Once again over here that's a bell pepper, bell pepper and Roma tomato. All those seem to grow really good outside. That's one of the other uh, lettuces. You'd think it would be doing good out here, but I mean inside, but it wasn't, so I moved it out here. Why did I move it out here? Because look, these are the same. I got nine of them. Five of them in there, that's six, and seven, eight, nine. These are growing like gangbusters out here. Oh, by the way, this was my little four by four thing. It's still four feet wide, but it's only 18 inches. Well, it's four feet long by 18 inches wide. And instead of being that slant down, slant down that caused only stuff to be able to grow in the middle, well now it's all one consistent deep thing. So in here I've got, uh, I never can I always want to say kale, and it's not. It's uh, Swiss chard. Then here's a sweet basil as well. As you can tell, the, sweet, the basil out here, while growing, it just didn't grow in like gangbusters like the one inside. This is called bee balm. It's supposed to attract uh, insects and stuff that are beneficial to the plants. That's some uh, rosemary and then of course the three uh, lettuce plants that I'm thinking are about time to start harvesting from. And then up here is my spearmint which is kind of like gangbusters too. When I first put it in it was down here and it's grown pretty soon it's going to be as high as the as this thing is. But you can see I still have the, the cattle panel attached. Made a little frame around here with the door. Keep the cats out. This is all attached really well. Uh, I'm actually rather proud of the way it came out looking. So this is what I've spent my budget on this year. That's why a lot of that stuff in there isn't done yet. I built this thing and got everything going and spent all my money on uh, the wood and the materials. So I'm having to come up with ways to make my soil and such this year that's taking more than usual. But, uh, so that's why this doesn't have anything in it yet. Because I gotta go find some dirt to put in it. It's now getting to the point where I can start doing stuff with it. Start cleaning up the, the walkway. Get in there and cleaned up. And, uh, I said, uh, Pretty happy with this actually. I'm pretty happy with this. Well, that's my little April tour of the greenhouse and outdoor enclosure. So that's it for this time on the Gadget Garden.